Hey everybody, this is Nathan Minier, and man, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've done any sort of podcasting audio transmission stuff. So um, I'm, I've been working on some game projects and doing some kind of crazy behind the scenes stuff for the past six months or so. And I thought maybe doing a series of these sort of short, fast and loose audio blogs might be a more interesting way to kind of share that with you folks out there and uh, let you know what I've been working on and just kind of connect again. It's it's kind of, it's difficult work when you're just kind of working round the clock between you know full-time work and also making game projects and creative things and struggling to kind of make your next thing but also you know spending pretty much more time interacting with the computer screen than other human beings which has sort of been my world for the past couple of years and I particularly of late just sort of been crunching to get this stuff done so this is kind of my way of sort of hopefully reconnecting with the world a little bit and at least in a way that feels different than the way I've been doing it the past couple months and sort of just typing and doing Twitter and stuff. So I hope you enjoy these. I'll keep them short and sweet and just want to let you know sort of what I'm up to. So uh, right now I'm about to launch a new game, which is slightly, it's kind of terrifying. It's been, it's been a long time since I've done any sort of game launches and uh, I've been working really hard the past six months to make this sort of small, crazy, interesting, weird game that uh, I'm really excited to share with everybody. This So this game's called Missile Cards, and essentially what it is, is it's a mix of sort of the um, the classic Atari 2600 retro game uh, Missile Command, where you're kind of defending your bases against falling you know, laser beams, and you're shooting stuff to intercept and destroy those before they take your bases out. It's a combination between that and sort of a solo strategy turn-based card game. So think of like solitaire meets missile command and you kind of have a general idea of sort of what i was going for with this so that's going to be coming out on steam on april 7th uh, and it's about, it's about two weeks away so i'm a little bit nerve-wracked and excited and just not sure how it's going to do it'll be five bucks at launch and it'll be pretty much for pc only to start and eventually i'm going to do some other potential versions but i just want to get through this sort of first launch and see how it goes the whole idea behind this project was to do something kind of short and interesting and sort of very polished but not letting it get out of hand so i wanted to create a game in a matter of a couple months and with some of my previous game projects um like this book is a dungeon that game was a three-month project and it was sort of an experiment too and with missile cards it's a lot more ambitious in terms of the design like it's much more visually designed there's lots more mechanics there's a lot more code going involved it's actually it was made in game maker studio so it's like a more of an actual engine versus twine which is a little bit different so missile cards is sort of my attempt to make something interesting in a very short period of time and i aimed to do that in about three or four months and it's been about six months so far so it'll be launching kind of almost at the six month mark which, which is pretty good because most of my game projects tend to be like a year or two. And um, doing something short and constrained like this is sort of a good exercise in limitations and setting constraints that can be very interesting in terms of what they produce creative-wise. But also it limits risk because, you know, when you're putting years and years of yourself into a project, when it, if it doesn't like do well, then it just feels pretty kind of just awful it's really it's really horrible and i've launched a few games on steam before and i've had uh some of them have done okay but the first thing one i did just was a complete sort of a disaster and um, that really hit me hard in terms of being a learning experience but sort of a tough lesson in not spending you know many many years of your life or you know tons of uh you know resources into something that you're not sure if it's even going to do well so i've been trying to do a little bit shorter more tightly constrained projects in addition to some of the long-term bigger things i have in the works and missile cards was my attempt to kind of create something short and interesting and get it done and get it out the door and then see what happens because yeah i'm I've been freelancing uh, for a long time and, and I still enjoy it. And I, uh, I'm doing a little bit more work for like corporate clients now instead of doing the sort of games focused writing I used to do. I used to write for magazines like Nintendo Power and uh, websites like IGN and GameSpot. And I sort of had to stop doing that when I started making games three years ago. But I was kind of at a point in my life where I just wanted to pivot and do something a little bit different. And uh, making games has been really rewarding and sort of a great journey, but it's also uh, very intense and kind of very time consuming. So I love learning how to do coding. I've, I've learned a lot of interesting stuff the past year or two in particular. I've really kind of leveled up sort of my skill set from where it was when I first started this. And I'm hoping to kind of keep pushing that forward. And a big part of that, though, is finding ways to get projects out there and try to generate a little bit of success. I mean, small successes are, are great for building momentum and kind of building towards your long-term girls and goals, excuse me. And that's sort of what I did with my freelancing world. Like I, I wanted to um, you know, hit, hit, you know, far distant targets of like eventually writing for Nintendo Power and other big magazines at the time that I was really excited about being a new writer when I was first starting out. 
And I had to work my way to that by making small wins, um, getting into you know smaller and medium publications and getting sort of paying the dues and time to get that sort of upward trajectory built. And that's kind of where I'm at now again. Like I've been sort of doing that for the past couple of years with game stuff. And I'm looking to get more projects out there and sort of get some momentum so I can stop kind of working. <laughs> right now I'm kind of killing myself in terms of like my amount of of like work time to like not work time. I'm working full time freelancing. I'm making several game projects on the side. I'm also running a, a, a studio on the side and it's been a little bit much. Um, I'm a little bit kind of tapped out and I haven't really been in the best headspace lately. So trying to sort of set goals and move upwards and onwards and see what I can do in terms of uh, getting some traction. So missile cards is hopefully like one stepping stone in that, but we'll just see kind of how, how that comes about. So yeah, the project, the, the whole project became, well, came about as sort of like me wanting to just get something done quickly. Um, and I'm kind of at the final two week mark where I'm just polishing up the final bits and I haven't really talked much about the gameplay itself, but you can always check out the steam page and maybe I'll talk more in depth about that later, uh, in a different update. But basically I'm going to be launching this thing in two weeks and I'm kind of, kind of terrified. <laughs> The last time I did a game launch, it was really exhausting. And it's, it's especially on Steam too, where like, you know, people are very picky about what they like and don't like, and they don't pull any punches when it comes to, you know, letting you know about it. And being in this industry for a while, I, I've sort of hardened my, my sort of exoskeleton <laughs> to that, but, um, it's very difficult. So uh, I'm trying to sort of temper my expectations and also steal my nerves in this next two weeks. I'm getting ready to launch this thing and, yeah, I'm just, I'm hopeful and also kind of nervous to see what happens. So I'll maybe talk about more about that in another update, sort of where my headspace has been at. But so with this with particular game, I've set sort of a, a weird goal of, it's almost like a Kickstarter type thing where like I want to hit this benchmark before the first month is over for a very specific reason that um, the six months that I was working on Missile Cards, a good chunk of that was I wasn't really working full time uh, because I had some pretty big freelance gigs kind of fall through some long-term things sort of fizzled out all at once and was it put me in kind of a bad spot for a while so i focused to kind of get through that on working on missile cards but at the same time that was pretty inexpensive hit to kind of take in terms of workload i've balanced things out more now with some other freelance clients that i picked up which has been really good but i'm really kind of hoping to have this project hit sort of a certain level of baseline success so that i can at least break even on the development time that i put into it um, which I don't usually do, usually I just kind of keep working, but I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to pivot more into doing this on a more serious level. So I'd love to at least break even with this <laughs> in the first month. And so I've set a goal of 5,000 copies of the game to sell on Steam within the first four weeks of launch, which for anyone who's had a proper successful launch is like, that's nothing, you know, whatever. Most, you know, Steam's games that do fairly well can sell a lot more than that in a lot shorter time frame. But for me, that's kind of like, a mix between an ambitious target and something that I feel might potentially be attainable. Um, 5,000 sales, uh, you know, it's good. This game's going to be five bucks and there's quite a bit of content in there. There's five bases that you can unlock and each base has like uh, six different missions to shoot for that like goals to hit and lots of unlockable stuff. And you can play a lot. There's a lot of replay built in because it gets pretty tough and there's lots of stuff to unlock to kind of mitigate that. So for five bucks, you're getting a decent chunk of content uh, game-wise, and it'll keep you busy for quite a few hours. I've been playing a lot of it, and it definitely, the game has a sort of one more try kind of quality to it, which I find really is exciting about it. So yeah, so for a $5 kind of price point, if I sell 5,000 copies after Steam's cut, that'll basically give me what I need financially to kind of break even for the roughly six months I spent working on this. And man, I kind of need that right now. It's been a, it's been a tough run, uh, just with everything in general. And, um, it would be really nice to have that kind of a bit of a win, even if it's small win, like that would be awesome. Uh, and it might, you know, if I do better than that, that could spell some interesting things in terms of like what my future holds this year in terms of like where I'm going to be going with things. Uh, my biggest problem right now is I've got lots of crazy, interesting things in the works. I think people are really going to be into once I can get them finished. But the time it takes to do this while I'm also working full time, is just, it's kind of crushing me. <laughs> uh, it's a lot. And um, I've been pushing myself too hard, juggling too much. And I'm kind of been at sort of my breaking point for a while. I'm just sort of muscling through it right now. So I'm really hoping this game launch goes well. And I'd, I'd love your help. And if you're a listener out there and you're kind of want to see me succeed with this thing, or if you want to buy the game, that's cool. If you want to 
you know, let people know about it. Uh, that's cool. Um, you can kind of add it to your Steam. If you're a Steam player, if you use Steam as a platform, you can go uh, to www.missilecards.com, and which will take you right to the game Steam page. You can kind of see the trailer. Um, some of those are outdated. I'm going to be updating that this week with some new screenshots and a new trailer with updated gameplay. But um, you can add that to your Steam wish list, and then you'll get a little email when the game actually launches in two weeks, which will be kind of cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping to get the word out there and get some positive traction for this game because I'm doing all the marketing and launch stuff myself and that's really a challenge. So if I can hit those 5,000 copies sold in the first month, that's going to make me feel a lot better about life <laughs> considering I've spent most of it the past six months staring at a computer screen and typing code in and not really interacting with the outside world. And, and that's been you know a sacrifice I've had to make and it's been a struggle. So I'm hoping that this will kind of be the beginning of better things to come, but, uh, but we'll see. I know better than to set too high of <laughs> expectations. So I'm cautiously optimistic and slightly terrified because it's going to be a really crazy couple of weeks ahead. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to stop now just because we're all a little bit past the 10 minute part mark. And I think that's probably a good stopping point. Thanks so much. If you've been listening to this, uh, missile cards will be coming out in two weeks on April 7th. If you want to help me get the word out, that's cool. If you want to like follow me on Twitter, I'm at N M E U N I E R. Um, you can actually, my, my Twitter feed is attached to this blog here, uh, at nathanminia.com. Um, yeah, I'm definitely looking to connect. If you want to like, if they like this, you want to hear more of this, let me know. Um, if not, that's fine. I'll probably do a couple more of these at least. And I want to be more transparent about sort of my learning process in terms of blogging and sharing things that are of interest to other game developers or people who like games or people who like creativity and entrepreneurialism and doing stuff and if you're a person who creates things if you're a maker then you know hopefully that will be of some interest but anyway thanks a bunch um tune in next time i guess i don't know that's weird <laughs> all right see ya